सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एज यू कैन सी माई स्क्रीन डेट इन ऑर्डर टू क्रिएट एनी प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनी फॉर द डेटा इंजीनियर रोल वी हैव टू फोकस ऑन द कोडिंग पार्ट प्लस द कॉन्सेप्चुअल पार्ट सो इन द डेटा इंजीनियर इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू क्रैक एनी रोल फॉर फॉर एनी कंपनीज फॉर डेटा इंजीनियर रोल इन टॉप प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनी देन यू हैव टू स्टार्ट योर वर्क फ्रॉम द सिक्वल एंड पाइथन सो सिक्वल एंड पाइथन यू कैन से आर द प्राइमरी स्किल्स फॉर द डेटा इंजीनियर सो इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू क्रैक एनी कंपनीज वेद इज ए मैं कंपनीज इज ए फेसबुक एमेजॉन गूगल मॉर्गन स्टैंडले वॉलमार्ट ओबर एनी कंपनीज यू हैव टू फोकस ऑन सिक्वल एंड पाइथन बिकॉज मोस्टली कंपनीज फॉर द फर्स्ट राउंड विल हैपन ऑन द सिक्वल एंड पाइथन बेसिस एंड सिक्वल एंड पाइथन विल नॉट बी इजी इट्स लाइक मीडियम टू डिफिकल्ट लेवल बेस्ड ऑन द कंपनी सो फॉर द प्रोडक्ट फॉर द प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनी इट्स लाइक ए मीडियम टू हार्ड क्वेश्चन विल बी देयर इन द सिक्वल एंड पाइथन सो फॉर एनी प्री रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर द डेटा इंजीनियर रोल यू शुड नो द बेसिक बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ द सिक्वल एंड पाइथन विद द हार्ड लेवल प्रैक्टिस ऑफ द सिक्वल एंड पाइथन लाइक इन द सिक्वल यू कैन फोकस ऑन विंडो फंक्शन ज्वाइंट ग्रुप बाय हैविंग क्लॉज सी टी ई कॉमन टेबल एक्सप्रेशन in python you can focus on decorator generator uh, list uh, array stack queue and linked list also for the data section and algorithm with the python so first focus on sql and python in this uh, data engineer role now coming to the uh, second part which is the coding exercise is basically based on the uh, sql and python and some level of data structure is also required for the data engineer role uh, medium level of data structure is enough to crack any companies so in data structure you can focus on uh, list array stack queue link list and tree and graph basic that's enough for any cracking any companies in the data engineer role now for the second dot in of interview uh, as uh, uh, we are focusing on the round 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 by round basis so first on basically uh, focus on the coding exercise and like sql python and data structure and algorithm with the time complexity second round will be based on the some topics from the big data engineer so in the big data engineer you must focus on the spark concept big data concept hadoop concept and hype concept so mostly company will focus mostly on the spark because spark is like a heart of the big data engineer because in the spark they can ask the question on the spark optimization spark tuning how to debug any uh, job which are getting failed in the spark what is how to uh, reduce the execution time of the spark job what are the different optimization technique what is adaptive query execution kolisky versus repartition cache versus persistent spark architecture executor memory so this type of question you can expect in the spark but spark you should know very deep dive to crack the data engineer role uh, for the round 2 okay along with spark you should focus on the hadoop concept mapreduce concept hive concept and some concept on the kafka so if you are uh, worked on the streaming from the uh, in the previous company then focus on the kafka or the spark streaming uh, for the streaming part they will not ask very deep dive but you should know the architecture of the any uh, 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 queue pipeline like kafka you should know you should know the architecture of the spark streaming structure streaming and you should know the basics of how this is working and how you can use this spark stream in kafka in your project to make the project streamline so this type of question you can expect in the interview then you have to focus on the data pipeline in the data pipeline you have to focus on the concept of etl along with the airflow because airflow mostly companies are using airflow uh, because uh, for the job scheduling okay in initially some companies were using autosys job scheduler but as of now now companies are focusing on the uh, mostly jo uh, like uh, jobs uh, like a scheduling tool that is airflow and airflow is a open source tool that is mostly required for the product based company so you can focus on the like uh, airflow what is airflow airflow architecture Job, uh, like work worker node map, web server trigger and the how airflow work what is the dag structure how to create a, a dag how to schedule any etl job which is written for taking the data from the kafka stream sources and dump the data into the data warehouse such as redshift so how you can schedule any etl pipeline using airflow this type of question you can expect i am telling in this uh, video very high level for what is the road map for the data engineer in the next video i am going to tell the deep dive for each topic what topic you need to prepare
for each round of the interview in the data engineer to crack any product based companies now coming to the second round you can focus on the some top interview question you can focus on database concept and data warehouse concept in the data warehouse concept you can focus on snowflake schema star schema slowly changing dimension topic which is very important so, so and we can focus on the fact table dimension table this type of question you can focus on for the second round of interview so in summarize first focus on sql python data structure then spark then hadoop then uh, airflow data pipeline kafka streaming then database and data warehouse now coming to the third of, of interview for the fresher third round mostly focus on uh, system design or data modeling but the first uh, for the uh, experienced people this is like a compulsory interview for the uh, people which has uh, having more than two or three years of experience which is round as system design or data modeling round but for the fresher it's not a compulsory it can be have based on the company or uh, company interview process okay so now coming to, to the system design and data modeling round in this round you have to focus on the designing concept like in the caching in the if i'm talking about the system design you know the concept of the uh, dns domain name services then you should have the uh, good architecture knowledge on the load balancing different type of load balancing caching proxy server how the rest api works what how the postman works how the sso login works so they can ask that complete architecture let's suppose uh, you have a requirement to build a system so how you will build a system from end to end with the using the front end technologies back end technologies with the uh, back web server all the technology if you are a fresher or if you are experienced people uh, system then you should know because it's like a concept you uh, you already worked on like uh, load balancing caching in the college time but for the experienced people 100 percent system de design will be asked based on the level of the interview and along with the system design you can focus on the data modeling so let's take an example let's say i say that you have to design a data model for any movie ticket system for any uh, for any youtube session let's suppose uh, for youtube streaming i want to design a database backend database for the youtube streaming what are the different tables are required for uh, having the in the backend of the youtube what is the schema for each table whether this is snowflake schema we have to require for making the youtube system yeah start schema what is the normalization denormalization so they can ask the practical question and in this round mostly round focus on the problem statement they will give one problem statement to you and they will ask you to share your skin or whiteboard and uh, make a design for the complete backend architecture using the tables schema and table join relationship let's suppose you are uh, uh, use a 10 table in the backend for the youtube streaming but how this 10 table will be joined it, uh, to this table using the foreign key relationship that is differential integrity then you have to design the proper uh, boxes and with the table name with the schema name with the column data type and some use cases of normalization and denormalization using some uh, any whiteboard or any you can use a draw dot io for creating the de uh, design uh, for the system design and for the data modeling so uh, mostly uh, so uh, overview you have to focus on system design and data modeling concept for very well and fifth, fourth part focus on the hiring manager question so hiring manager question mostly on the mostly behavioral question like how you will uh, like it uh, react to the situation where you are working on multiple tasks but you are not able to do the task uh, parallelly so how you will cop up with multiple situation so they will ask you mostly question on the like uh, uh, behavioral question situation based question and they can ask on some of the real time project that you already worked on in the previous company for the fresher they will not ask you the uh, previous projects on the big data engineer because you are a uh, college graduate they but they can ask which type of project you worked on in the college time as a self learning project but for the uh, for the person having uh, experience in the data engineer or in different background background they should focus on the one project at least take one project to, with the use case how what is the impact you made in the project and you can and note down on the notepad and try to uh, understand what you have done in the uh, previous company so that you can tell properly in the interview so you should be well prepared before going to to the data engineer round i see uh, data engineer hiring manager round i know that mostly uh, round for people uh, clear the data engineer manager round but some people are not able to crack the data engineer uh, hiring manager round the reason is they don't have the proper confidence in what they have worked in the previous company so i will advise you to focus on the previous project that you worked on and understand the architecture understand the impact you have made on and what kind of tool and tech stack you used in the previous company and what is the agile methodology you worked on okay and final round will be HR discussion that is a more, mostly final round will be the, like a, a salary discussion your uh, willingness to join the company why you want to join the company this type of question you can expect 
so overall you can say that in the one line i will say that data engineer roadmap is basically consist of first sql then python then data structure and algorithm with time complexity then spark then big data concept including hadoop MapReduce, MapReduce, Hive, then focus on data pipeline. In data pipeline, focus on um, batch processing for ETL and real time streaming. You focus on Kafka. Then finally, focus on the apart from Kafka, focus on the Airflow job scheduler. And if you know the cloud concept like a, a cloud optimization, if you worked on like AWS, GCP, Azure, you can mention that in the interview. Okay. Then focus on the some uh, some real time project that you worked on. Then database concept. Then data warehouse concept. Then data modeling and system design. And finally, focus on the SL question, Scrum related question, and the project that you already worked on uh, uh, for the interview. So this is the complete data engineer roadmap. You should uh, focus for the cracking any product based company, any fintech company in a in your next role. So please keep in touch. And if you have any doubts regarding the data engineer roadmap, you can reach out to me on uh, YouTube and LinkedIn. I am happy to connect with you. And so stay connected. Happy journey. Bye.